just spotted a little uh, dirt track. Oh, okay. This is uh, not too bad, surprisingly. new video today we are looking at a board from own board and it's their brand new w2 pro now this board has a mixture of bamboo and fiberglass in the deck it's running 5255 brushless motors uh, 160 kv at 750 watts each so it's a, a slightly different motor on there now uh, a bit more torque which is nice to see uh, it's running a 12s 2p battery configuration with 40 t cells so a big upgrade there from the tennis so that's going to give you a, definitely a higher top speed uh, and more low down power so really nice to see and they're using good quality cells those samsung 40 t's uh, what else they're now shipping all standard with 105 cloud wheels um, and the board looks very different as well one thing i will say on the website there are two or there's a couple of different actually options you can order i've gone for the black with no handle there's also an orange uh, or you can get black with a handle there you can actually choose what you want so you can choose black or orange and you can choose handle or no handle i've gone no handle um just being a bamboo and fiberglass i think it's going to be really really soft anyway so we'll get this one out of the box and we'll see how it goes really quickly uh, inside the box you can see we've got the three amp charger spare belts really really good quality hex tool standard t-tool charger and back red light which is nice it's got the rubberized hobby wing remote with three speed modes one two and three and here there is the board right here there's those 105 cloud wheels there's those spring-loaded adjustable motor mounts those 750 motors hobby wing-esque and that 12s 2p samsung 40t battery pack let's get the helmet let's go for a ride Okay, wow, this has got good power. And it's actually got really nice acceleration. Now, this board's main competitor is gonna be the Mipo NLS belt. So the question will be, is it better? Is it better value? Well, we're gonna find out. Now, I'll tell you straight away, it is a very, very flexy deck. I'll take a little bit to get used to it. We're coming down here at 33 kilometers per hour. And this deck is flexing like anything. Woo! Now this road is all downhill, so we're gonna be testing out the hill climbing and going back to the car. But it's got a really nice carb on it. Just getting used to this, just wearing in the cloud wheels, nothing silly so far. Hey, it's Scott from the future. Uh, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to chuck a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Okay, so this is definitely um, fast for $699. It's definitely faster than its uh, nearest competitor, which, of which I just mentioned. Uh, we just went faster than that can on a slight gradient. So that's very impressive. Now, as always, we are going to do a SWOT analysis at the end, because I can already tell you there is an opportunity for this board. 
and I'll tell you what that is at the end. But let's go through, let's test it out. Oh, bumps. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that was a funny noise. Uh, let's go through, let's test it out. We'll get some cool scenery in. As I said, we're in Mosswin. It's a really beautiful suburb right on Sydney Harbour. Look over my shoulder here. There's Sydney City over there. Harbour Bridge through the trees. We'll go down and have a, a close look. never been along that track before. I can't believe I haven't, but here we go. I'm gonna turn you around and show you the scenery. If it's not too overexposed. So let me just point you out and show you what we got. Harbour Bridge, Opera House, Sydney City. Over here, you gotta look across the Bondi and, and the uh, eastern suburbs. Right here, is North Sydney, that's where I used to work. And then coming all around here is the start of the, what you, what you, what you sort of call as the Northern Beaches, Neutral Bay and so on. Okay, but W2, W2 Pro on dirt, and wet dirt at that, really, really nice, surprisingly nice. Okay, let's keep riding. Now we're gonna tackle some hills now, some quite steep hills. I might be walking, I don't know. Uh, challenge or test, it's not too bad, but it will give us an idea straight away the performance of this board. I'm not doing full acceleration, now I will. Full acceleration now, we're accelerating up here. 22, 26, 28, 29, 31, yep. Okay, this thing can definitely climb hills also better than its uh, nearest competition. Next thing I want to test out is the brakes on this board. It's been slightly bigger wheels, I expect them to be soft. Now I'm on a slight downhill here, as you can see. Now we're going 26 kilometers per hour. Got no cars behind me. And I'm gonna pull the brakes on in three, two, one. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 13, 12, nine. That's really good on a very slight, maybe 2% gradient. And those brakes slowed me down and almost pulled me to a complete stop. Very happy with that. Again, quite surprised. Those 160 kV, 750 watt motors are doing a really nice job. Come down here to the bottom of the zoo now. Got a car right behind me, so I'll get out of the way.
proper flex test on the W2 Pro. Just so you can see exactly what you're getting. I'm gonna wait till these cars get past and I'll flip us around. All right, here we go. Now I'm a little bit scared to bounce like I would on a normal one just because it is very flexy. But as you can see there, a lot of flex in that bamboo. Which, if you're not too heavy, is gonna really smooth out the ride. our way down to Clifton Beach. We're now gonna go back up these hills. Morning. We're gonna now make our way back up the road, which again is more steep hills. Now we're not gonna do full acceleration. We're just gonna just go easy and just see if it'll make it. So a bit slow there, so I'm gonna go full acceleration and there you go, it picks up straight away. A little bit of rough road there. But this is quite steep as you can see behind me. You can see the gradient on the wall there sort of give it away, the, 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 the gradient of it, the steepness. This thing builds up really nicely. It's got a nice mix of low torque. Oh, it's steep there. <laughs> it's got a nice mix of reasonably good low torque, but it also builds to a, a nice top speed as well. So we're still going up this steep hill, as you can see behind me. And again, we're still, we've just lost one bar of battery now after all that hill riding. We've only just lost our first bar on 8.2 kilometers. So this board's proven to be pretty, um, pretty well made, pretty well designed or thought out. Guys, that brings us to the end of the first ride and review of the W2 Pro for the own board. Um, awesome board, really enjoyed it, really good power. Let's do the SWOT analysis to end. So as we always do, the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. Now the strengths on this board is its build quality, its motors, its battery cells, its wheels and its price point at 699. So those 40 T cells with the customized Hobbywing um, ESC, those anodized adjustable rear mounts and those nice 750 watt motors are a massive, massive strength. As far as weakness, there's no weaknesses at all on this board as such. Um, there is an opportunity, which some people will see as a weakness, which we'll, we'll talk about in a, in a second. Um, just really nicely built. I mean, Ownboard I think has a pretty good reputation in the community. I haven't seen too many negative posts about Ownboard or their customer service or their after sales service or their build quality. It's always been quite positive and I think the um, I think the W2 Pro is gonna be another, another feather in their cap, so the expression goes. Now opportunities, there's one opportunity with this board um, and it's a big one for me and it's the deck. It's, it, it's lovely, it's a good shape, it's a good length. It could be, it could be an inch longer, but that's, that's neither here nor there. But it's a little bit too flexy for someone my weight. So 225 pounds, it's a little bit too flexy. There's a little bit too much bounce in that. Um, it almost feels like it has a, a very, very minuscule twist when you hit a bump. And it can be a little bit disconcerting when you're going sort of 37, 38 kilometers per hour and it's got this this, this not wobble, but this, this flex to it. Now I've ridden flexi decks before. I've got to be careful how I say that. But this is quite, um, quite flexy. Still has a nice rebound, but I think as an opportunity, maybe they could look at doing a optional um, stiffer deck for the heavier riders. Similar to what the, the premium companies do. Uh, you can put your weight in, it tells you which one they recommend. Uh, and lastly, threats, zero threats, um, but we should expect that. It's Hobbywing-esque, Hobbywing motors. 
um, nice quality wheels, good trucks, and it's a reputable company, yeah, onboard. So guys, let's end the video there. Very, very happy with the onboard W2 Pro, as I said. Um, I'm, this is gonna probably be my, my sort of round Cremorne around this local area rider, right? because it does handle those hills so well. The hills and the pickup and the speed is very, very, very nice. The next thing we're gonna test is gonna be the hill climb and the range. We might combine them into one video. Like the big bus. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this content. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. It costs you nothing, as I said in the middle. It makes a huge difference to this channel. We're growing quite nicely at the moment. I'm really, really proud of the content that um, I'm putting out and, and the way you guys are interacting. I really enjoy that. If you've got any questions or comments, uh, chuck them down below. If you've got any specific uh, questions or issues, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. It's just Scott Davies YouTube. You can find me very, very easily. All the links are down in the description. Uh, but until the next video, guys, which is going to be, we've got two massive videos coming up. We've got the Atlas four-wheel drive. We're just waiting for the green light to, uh, to film that one. And we've also got the brand new uh, Propel off-road four-wheel drive board as well. So that's dual, I think that's 6368, it's not dual, sorry, quad, quad 6368, 10-inch wheels, super thin carbon fiber deck. That's, it's pretty incredible. But guys, yeah, that's coming out soon. So skate safe and we'll see you on the next video.